Hello world and welcome once again to this channel. Every week we bring you one interesting math problem from around the world. So if you like math, this channel is for you and I request you to please subscribe to it. My name is Sanjay and I am a lifelong learner. So here is today's problem. I have $50 which I wish to spend. On the left I will write down the amount spent and on the right I will write the balance each time I spend. So I start with spending $20. I am left with $30. From these $30 I spend $15 and I am left with $15. From these $15 I spend $9 and I am left with $6. And finally I spend the last $6 and I am left with $0. Now let us total both sides. The amount I spend spent adds up to $50. And we do the same thing on the right and hey, we get $51. Where did this extra dollar come from? Please pause the video and think of the reason. And when you're done, return to the video and continue watching. And if you do not wish to do any calculations, just think of what could be the reason for this extra dollar. Good luck. All right, welcome back. Now it is possible that you may hate me for this, but guys, the answer is that there is no answer to this question. So now you must be saying, what do you mean? So let me explain. Numbers are very powerful and they help us do great things, but unfortunately they can also be used deliberately and unintentionally to put us on the wrong path. Think of the big claims by politicians or large companies using numbers to claim how great they or their products are. If we are not careful, the numbers can be used to misinform. But let's come back to our problem. So yes, on the left we have one case where the result is 51 and it is so close to 50 that we can be fooled into thinking that somehow this should match the 50. But let's try another scenario. So again, I have $50 to spend, but this time I spend $1 each time. So on the left, my spending amounts will be like so, and on the right, my balances will be like so. And finally, when I spend all the $50 and I add up the amounts I spent, I will get $50. There's no surprise here. But if I added up the balances on the right, the answer is nowhere close to 50 and if you wish, please pause this video and try out another spending pattern. And do write the balance you got on the right in the comment section. So you see, whatever your spending pattern, the total spent will always add up to 50. But it's not so with the balance column. So coming back to our main problem, I took one observation from a pool of observations and put you on the wrong path just like many, many others who use numbers daily to try to do something similar. So numbers are great, but always look at them with a questioning mind. Thank you and keep safe.